Welcome to F5 and Ansible Lessons, creating a virtual server. Using Ansible Automation Platform, we will have a pre-created inventory credentials. We'll be also be connecting to GitHub for our repositories, using a requirements file to pull down the F5 Network Galaxy collections, and then executing the code to create the virtual server. First, we'll log into the Ansible Automation Platform. Then we're going to head over to Inventories and check out our Big IP inventory for our demonstration. Notice there are two groups, Load Balancers and Web Servers. And then in each group, there are two subsequent hosts. One contains for the Web Servers, which are Docker hosts, and the other for the Big IPs. Next, we'll go into Projects and the F5 BD Ansible Lessons project. And notice that it's set up for a GitHub repository that all the source code comes from. Moving on, we're going to take a look at our templates, our 1.1 create virtual server, and then check out that it's part of the default execution environment, part of our project that we set up earlier, and part of the inventory that was already pre-created. We also have extra variables such as F5 admin port, Docker ports, virtual server name, virtual IP address pre-configured, so that way when the code executes, it uses those variables. While we wait for the code to start up, what we'll notice is that as part of the code, it will go and find whichever of the two big IPs is the active machine. They're set up in an active standby pair. When it tries to execute that code, it is only going to execute the code on the active machine. So that way, when they synchronize across each other, then the two big IPs will, will have the same data, but only the active machine is the one that's initially configured. What we'll do next is open a new browser tab and go to the active big IP and log in. What we should see under the virtual servers is that there is a VIP under the 196.196.196.100 address. And everything has been configured for the virtual server. Now, if we go and browse to the specific address, what we'll see is the Juice Shop website that was configured on the Docker web servers. And this just is an indicator that everything deployed correctly through the Ansible modules. Feel free to use or fork our own Git repository code located in the link below and watch our other videos for more F5 and Ansible lessons.